this for a tough choice early on. Which direction they go here is going to say a lot about what this team wants to do. Washington's been represented once already in this draft. Could one of his teammates be about to join him? And that's a pick that'll solve a lot of problems out there. He'll fit in nicely. Yeah, that's the kind of guy who can elevate that entire unit. He's a very talented addition. Some tough choices coming up right about now. Do you go after the best available player or do you go after a position of need? So with a handful of starters already nailed down, you have to ask yourself, do you dare go for depth or do you just try to cover as many areas of the field as possible? This is a pretty telling pick here. Do you go for a big bruiser up front or get yourself someone who could be a difference maker at a skill position? Where to now? Do you get yourself a big brute for the trenches or someone who can really help you out at the playmaking type spot? I'll tell you right now, you won't go wrong adding any of these guys to your team. And now is where you need to make these last picks count. Time to, I'm not sure that this selection is gonna provide a huge punch, but he's at least a guy that does have some upside. Still a few holes on this roster and not a lot of time left to do anything about it. Always a tough decision, offense or defense. It's all about finding the right balance when you're putting a team together. Whoever's making the final decision here might have a coordinator in each year. Do you go offense or defense? Boy, it's finger crossing time now. With the end in sight and a few more holes to fill, you've got to be hoping that there's still a gem or two that becomes available.
All right, Larry, hope everyone is settled in for a great draft champions contest here. Lucky to witness it. I'm Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. These guys that you see on your screen, they won't be witnessing. They will be participating in what should be an excellent game. Let's get down to the field. It's time for kick. And it's the birth of a new club as we're underway in draft champions. Danny Amendola on the return. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. They go play action. Mariota. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches. And now it's second down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. First carry now. This is Johnson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Play fit. And down he goes. Brought down a Raiders sack. Daniil Hunter. He's the one that gets him down. It'll be a loss of five, and it'll bring up fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Brad Nortman on to punt it away. And they won't get a chance to bring this one back. It goes out of bounds, back near their own 20. They go play action here on first down. Out to the left here to Reed. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And 15 yards there on the catch and run. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. And a first carry here for Charles Sims. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Second down, eight. And some extras coming up on the line here, Redding for the blitz. And Reed with it over the middle. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. Now they set up the screen, that's complete. A nice little screen, they get six on first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Now Roethlisberger to throw on second down. And he finds the tight end, Reed. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. All right, I'm doing my rudimentary math here. That's his third catch here in the first quarter. I don't know if it's just game plan or he's just finding his way open. Yeah, maybe a little of both. They'll run it now out of the gun. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Vontez perfect, the one to get him down. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. 
Slant route, caught by Edelman. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. Off the play fake. Here's Roethlisberger. This will be caught at the two. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Jalen Strong. 16-yard touchdown, and the Raiders have taken the early lead. And that makes it 7-zip Oakland. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Raiders in possession of the football, as we'll see one following the score on the final play before break. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And out now come the Seahawks. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. He's got a man complete. It's a big play there for Seattle. And even 40 yards. Not the tallest receiver on the field, but he just shouted to admit that the little guy can't go downfield and make a big-time catch on a deep pass because sometimes they'll just out-scrap you for the football. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Jack Doyle that time. That'll bring up second down. And that drop will cause a little bit of angst for the play caller because you know they've worked all week game planning and flexing the tight end out and making him a matchup issue for the defense. They have what they wanted, and he drops the ball. Man, just couldn't hang on to the slam. Amendola had it and lost it. Third down here. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. Complete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver. 